This is the second in our two-part series all about podcasting. We're sharing data from New Voodoo's first quarter digital media study conducted with 3,298 nationwide respondents between the ages of 14 and 54. And this includes just shy of 1,500 regular podcast listeners who indicated that they listen at least once a week. In part one, we broke down the weekly podcast audience by generation and analyzed listening habits. Here in part two, we'll focus on podcast discovery. We'll show you what the data says about how to build a podcast audience efficiently. Stand by, Lee Jacobs is back with all things related to podcast marketing next. As of December 2021, there were nearly 2.4 million podcast titles and almost 60 million total episodes hosted by Apple Podcasts. The average podcast, however, gets only 27 listeners per episode. For anyone trying to monetize, that's like a tree falling in the woods that nobody hears. But New Voodoo helps podcasters cut through the jungle with research and marketing. We help find the right listeners and grow the audience fast. Learn more about podcast discovery. Contact Tell Me More at newvoodoo.com. Nearly a third of weekly podcast listeners spend at least an hour each day with ad-supported digital video channels, YouTube's mobile app, or with OTT programming on a phone, tablet, or connected TV. That makes digital video marketing a pretty compelling strategy for the creation of brand awareness for podcasts, since weekly podcast consumers spend the kind of time on those platforms that really allow commercial messaging to be delivered with robust frequency. And social media is nearly as potent as peer referrals for podcast discovery across generations. Millennials, in particular, over-index significantly, with nearly 6 in 10 relying on friends and social media posts to discover podcasts. We surmise that social media advertising could be like injecting steroids into the organic podcast discovery process, since unlike friend recommendations, paid messages can be delivered with a lot of frequency. With podcast discovery tied so closely to social media, we wanted to track the daily use of ad-supported apps to see which platforms allowed podcasters to reach their potential audience most efficiently. Just shy of two-thirds of the weekly podcast audience can be reached every day with boosted or organic posts on Facebook or Instagram, and around three-quarters can be reached daily on the YouTube or Google apps. When we filter for a compulsive level of everyday use, setting the bar at three times a day or more, the potential to accelerate podcast discovery with added daily frequency looks even more attractive. Just shy of a third of the weekly podcast audience uses Facebook or Instagram at the compulsive three time a day level and around two in five are using Google and YouTube apps chronically. We've dubbed these new Voodoo's foundational four digital ad channels. They are the linchpin of our managed services campaigns that we execute on behalf of our media clients. Podcasters have an advantage over many other brand advertisers hoping to retarget users in digital campaigns. Weekly podcast listeners are more likely to allow apps to track their devices and their activity across other websites, with 49% opting into tracking often or always. That's 18 points higher than our total sample, 58% greater than Gen Z, and more than double the tolerance for tracking exhibited by Gen X. The podcast audience's higher opt-in rate even exceeds tracking tolerant millennials by 10 points. Paid digital retargeting advertising can be an efficient and effective strategy for podcasters hoping to cross-promote a new episode or guest content to an existing user base. But researching messaging that the audience will find valuable rather than invasive or creepy was really the key to maintaining a high opt-in rate for both tracking and push notifications. The weekly podcast audience is more highly attuned to advertising when compared to our total sample. These are listeners who connect. 60% or more of the weekly podcast audience pays at least some attention to advertising across most channels, rating how often they engage at four or better on a six-point scale. Two of every three members of the weekly podcast audience pay attention to ads on walled gardens, such as Facebook and YouTube, which have their own proprietary ad platforms, or on websites and smartphone apps like Google, where advertising can be purchased and trafficked programmatically. When we tighten the threshold, 
to a level of five or better on our six-point attention scale, we find the percentages of the weekly podcast audience paying extra close attention to advertising far exceeds that of our overall sample across all ad channels we tested. Nearly half of weekly podcast listeners paid this kind of attention to ads on the Google app, YouTube, websites, Facebook, and Instagram. These are the key digital channels for finding and influencing the potential audience for podcasting. If you missed part one of our podcast research series, you can watch it on demand right now at newvoodoo.com slash webinars. Thanks for watching this session. We'll see you again next time.